The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. An exotic fish is placed in a rectangular aquarium that has a length of 75 centimeters and a width of 35 centimeters. If the water level rises two centimeters when the fish is placed in the aquarium, what is the volume of the fish? The important idea to understand in this problem is that when the fish is placed in the aquarium, the rise in water level creates a right rectangular prism shown in purple that is equal to the volume of the fish. So to find the volume of the fish, all we have to do is find the volume of the prism that is formed by the rise in the water level. Remember that the formula for the volume of a right prism is area of the base times height, and since the base of the prism shown in purple is a rectangle, the formula for the area of the base is length times width. So our volume formula can be rewritten as parentheses length times width times height. We know that the height of the purple prism is represented by the rise in water level, which is two centimeters, and notice that the length and width of the purple prism are the same as the length and width of the base of the aquarium, 75 centimeters and 35 centimeters. So plugging this information into our formula, we have parentheses 75 times 35 times 2, or 2,625 times 2, which is 5,250. So the volume of the prism that is formed by the rise in water level is 5,250 cubic centimeters. And since the volume of this prism equals the volume of the fish, the volume of the exotic fish must also be 5,250 cubic centimeters.